It's really great being with Mia for AYO because obviously it's a shared common interest and yeah, we get along really well, so it's even better. When we go home, we can like um, share stories about it, like with our parents together. It's, I think it's always more fun telling a story when you have someone else to tell it with. Even when they're a little with other orchestras and so on, every time they moved up an orchestra or changed orchestras, it was just it was amazing. And then obviously to to get into AYO, uh, it's the you know the highest level I've ever been involved in. Well, AYO for me is like the most fun I have in my whole life. Like actually, it's the highlight of my life. I think especially for me. Um, because I spend a lot of time doing other things like science and math. I really like coming to AYO and then just being able to focus so much on music, which is something I really love. You don't really get that experience when you're a younger person to play with, in some cases, like professional conductors. And you kind of have to do things like AYO to get that experience. Also, it's just like so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's fun. It definitely reduced her nerves going into uni because one of the guys who plays viola, she became really good friends with him and he knew that she was coming to the con next year. Uh, so he contacted her and said, oh, do you want to do a quartet? They had it all planned out you know, before she even started. So that normal nerves that you might feel going into university with not knowing anyone you know, wasn't there because she already had friends that she'd made through AYA. Music's expensive. So as parents, I guess it makes it much more difficult for us to get them to where they want to be. So you know, Sola's dream has been to be a professional musician since she was you know, seven. To get her to, to a professional standard I think this is, you know, by far and away the, the best program that they've been involved in. So this is very, very special.